The family of metal forming techniques is a big one, starting from forging, rolling, extrusion to wire drawing and high energy rate forming. There are a number of forming techniques available in industries. A striking similarity in all uh, these techniques is that all of them are deformation processes and no material is added or removed during the processes. Okay, so today we will have an elaborate discussion on the metal forging technique. So forging basically is a deformation technique where we use compressive stresses and sometimes heat to completely deform a metal. The dimensions will change after the deformation but the volume before and after the uh, deformation will remain constant. Now human beings have been forging metals since thousands of years now to make jewelries, automobiles, uh, automobile aerospace parts and an endless list of industrial and domestic items. Now in forging there are two dies, one fixed and one movable. So based on the type of dies used, forging can be divided under three heads such as the op open die forging process, the impression uh, forging process and the closed die forging. The impression and the closed die forging are almost similar with some minor differences. Uh, they both used, uh, they both use confined or closed dies. Okay. So now let us start with the open die forging process. So here we have one fixed die over which the workpiece is kept. The movable die is then used to strike the workpiece repeatedly like a hammer. As a result, after five to six blows, the workpiece gets deformed as, uh, as part the die shape. Uh, now, in ideal case, if we deform any workpiece, the workpiece should extend in length and decrease in height as seen in the second figure. But in real case, the workpiece does not deform like this. After we impart a few blows, the sides of the workpiece extends in a convex shape and it looks like a barrel. Barrel is a large hollow drum, so it looks like a barrel. It uh, happens because the upper and the lower surfaces of the workpiece is in contact with the die surfaces and thus they cannot expand rapidly due to friction with the dies. But the right and the left sides are open to the atmosphere or the environment and since they are free to expand, so they will expand more like a convex surface. Now in order to remove this barreling effect in impression die uh, forging, the two dies are made in such a way that when they close, they form the final shape of the finished product. Okay, In impression forging, a small portion of the workpiece comes out as flesh as seen in the figure. Now this flesh is very useful. Let us try to understand what is the uh, uh, advantage of this flesh. Since the flesh is in contact with the colder regions of the die, so it will uh, definitely cool down very fast and it will become hard. Thus it prevents the hot and the softer metal inside the cavity to come out through the opening. Then we have, after this we have the closed die forging where the die cavity is totally closed from all sides and thus the uh, workpiece deforms and completely fills the work cavity to take the final shape. Next, on the basis of the type of impact uh, by, the uh, by the movable die, again we can classify forging into two types, the drop forging and the press forging. The drop, drop forging can further be, uh, further be classified into, into two types, the gravity induced drop forging and the second one is power drop forging. In drop forging, there is a hammer which is taken at a certain height with the help of two rollers. The hammer is then dropped from a height by increasing uh, the gap of the rollers. As the hammer strikes the workpiece by the force of the gravity, the workpiece deforms. And this action is done uh, five to six times and finally we get the finished product. This is the gravity drop hammer. In power drop hammer, the same action is accomplished by uh, either pneumatic or hydraulic drives to lift and strike the hammers with more force. These are uh, suitable, these power uh, drop hammers are suitable for heavy industries. And finally the last one is the forging press. Okay, Here two dies are controlled pneumatically or, hydro, uh, or by using hydraulic drives. Instead of giving six to seven repeated blows, here using one single squeezing action, the workpiece is deformed. It is based on pa Pascal's law. Let us 
uh, elaborate what is a pass what is the Pascal's law in case you have forgotten suppose if I apply a force P in the section AA uh, of this container then the other section of the uh, container uh, BB located away from it will experience the same force the force will transmit through the fluid let us now understand the concept uh, with a simple animation okay fluid is allowed to enter through an inlet at high pressure as a re result uh, the piston is pushed above now to bring the uh, piston down the fluid is allowed to come out of the outlet so gradually the piston will come downward more pressure is created on the piston by forcing the fluid uh, in the cylinder from the top of the piston as a result the piston uh, squeezes the workpiece at a very high pressure which finally deforms the workpiece okay finally let us see the differences between the drop forging and press forging first in drop forging less force is required since entire deformation in uh, is done in multiple strokes then uh, the force distribution is not uniform in drop forging since local blows are imparted on the workpiece whereas in press forging the press deforms the work, uh, workpiece uniformly so uniform force distribution takes place okay so this was all about the metal forging processes in case of any doubt you can ask in the comment section thank you